Sarah, tell me all about your festival. So the Essex Podcast Festival is a brand new event. Uh, It's one that we've spent a lot of time creating, coming up with the idea and the concepts. And it's happening in Chelmsford City Centre across um, a variety of venues on the 28th and 29th of September. So I know that one of the people involved in it is somebody that I worked with many years ago yes. on, on music <laughs> events. And, and like me, he's kind of sort of transitioning from music into podcasting. Um, and I'm also quite jealous, being a, a, an Essex lad myself, that yeah. you have come up with a concept to do the Essex Podcast <laughs> Festival. It's a great idea. How did that come about? Well, it's something that um, we have talked about for a while because, A... And this is a bold claim to fame, but it's one I'm absolutely going with. Go for it. Podcasts wouldn't exist without Chelmsford, oh, right? That's a statement <laughs> that is. But we are the birthplace of radio. Right. And I feel like if you are from Chelmsford, you have heard that millions of times yeah. and you're sick to death of it. So, A, we want a little nod to the fact that that is us. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, we we have a real strength as a city in innovation, technology. Um, and I think we play a really key part in that kind of evolution of where radio started yeah. to where podcasts now are. Um, and it's a really exciting opportunity, I think, to use this festival um, as a platform to kind of encourage people to think about the future of that and yeah. what might that look like in another 50 years. Um, so, yeah, it felt a really fitting event to do based upon our heritage, um, but also future thinking, future planning um, and something to celebrate such an incredible industry. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about how the actual festival itself is going to run is it going to be over multiple venues and uh, tell me a little bit about the sort of the the, the running of it yeah so we we've we've scaled back from what we had originally kind of thought because what we don't want to do is kind of go year one bite off more we can ch- more than we can chew sure. um, because it's not really been done before yep. so we, we're testing the waters here um, so it's across a weekend Saturday and Sunday and there's going to be um, two kind of key locations um, for the different events but then we've also alongside that um, got another two venues that are doing a separate audience with event and also some workshops for kind of young kids and young adults who want to to um, give it a go themselves really all oh, right so it's not just sort of live podcasts there's workshops for people that have yeah so sort of, you know we're... interested in getting involved in the industry absolutely yeah right. so we're working with uh, a local studio studio 808 um who are basically giving a brief to some young people that have applied to attend um and they will come along and give it a go and see That's the production fantastic. and and that kind of thing so yeah it's all about skills development as well for us and that aside if we then move on to the actual podcasters that are going to be performing live events like who's on the roster uh, a real mix of different people and different um, kind of sectors, really. A really nice link is that the majority of them are all um, like Essex based as well, um, which was really key to us as the first festival. But we've got um, Dad Still Standing, which is an incredible podcast um, talking about um dad's going through like grieving for lost children um but very much along the lines of you know having a drink with your mate and talking it through which is so important Mm -hmm. um we've also got the Essex Witches author uh Sid Moore very excited about that one obviously Chelmsford Essex has a huge heritage around which witches as well um so we'll be talking all about that Blazing Squad are coming in for an interview um, under one of the Chelmsford For You podcasts, the kind of Essex boys talking about um, the music careers back then, but also they're back in the limelight again, touring, so how things are different. Um, I'm trying to think of all of them now. All the overs, cricket. So it's not just the kind of, you know, you've mentioned Blazing Squad and some of the more sort of established podcasts. Are you going to be using the fact that there's going to be eyes on on them to also push the smaller up and coming 
podcasts as well. Yeah, definitely. It's one of the things that we really wanted to ensure happened throughout the festival is that, yes, we've got some kind of big name draws in there, but we want to put local, independent, um, you know, up and coming podcasters yeah. and um, local talent. We want to put them on the same yeah. program and the same roster as them and give them brilliant highlight or highlight them. And yeah. And tell me a bit about some of the venues that you're going to be uh, using for this. So on the Saturday, as I've mentioned, Studio 808 will be doing the workshops and then we will be doing um, all day into the evening, back to back audience with podcasts at the studios at Chumps of Theatre. OK. Um, which we're really excited about. It's a great, great venue. And then on the Sunday in the morning, we have um, Live on the Ice, uh, the Icebreakers podcast, an audience with them at Riverside. Wonderful. Um, apparently, I'm also going to be on the ice rink, so that will be interesting. Superb. <laughs> um, and then later on in the afternoon, similar kind of setup to the Saturday with back-to-back -back audience yeah. with. That will be at Hotbox, which is... a brilliant music venue in the city centre. So if people want to get tickets, like, do, also, do they have to buy a tick, like one ticket for the festival or can you buy tickets for specific shows? A whole mix. So um, we wanted to create a really accessible um, festival and an event, one that isn't kind of pricing people out. So for the Saturday, the individual shows are five pounds each, um, but you can buy a day ticket, which gets you access to all of them. And that's 15 pounds. Fantastic. Yeah. The skate session with Matt and Frankie from Icebreakers podcast, Dancing on Ice Pros. Um, that is the Riverside skating session prices. Mm -hmm. And then um, the hot box event is free. Fantastic. And the best place to go and get your tickets is? Everything is on our website, Chelmsford for, for, oh, sorry, chelmsfordforyou.co.uk. Sure? <laughs> <laughs> I've said it so many times. It just, uh, yeah, it's all blurred now. Um, yeah, chelmsfordforyou.co.uk. Um, all of the information, times, venues, tickets is on there. It takes you through to the booking pages um, for each one. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Sarah, thank you so much for coming in and, and, and telling us all about it. I'm so excited. There's a podcast festival in my home county <laughs> and uh, I'll be there with bells on. Best Great. of luck with it. Thank you.